What's up guys? Very much. There's a video for the Gorilla Tavern contest and it's about something I made. I mean it's a mix basically of different stuff I found online. It's nothing much than a teeny teeny survival kit stove slash and cooking system slash whatever slash yeah, slash again. Anyway is uh, nothing much than a tuna can stove, the famous tuna can stove. And I use a punch hole kit, as you've seen. I had a handle that's made basically for the springs that we use a works for keep the display, uh, displaying uh, display case for whatever stuff. They use this one on the side, so actually the stuff don't flip around all the places. Well, what they do is basically. I bend them a little bit and attach them to one of the O's that I did and uh, that works, I mean not super super I need probably super super well, I need probably kind of uh, uh, bend them a little bit but it's just a work in progress so nothing much still, still a way to move around the stove or support the stove in some way I gotta still figure out how it works still again a work in progress I keep one of the lid, the lid for putting on the bottom eventually if I'm going to put somewhere and I put some Utah cord or twine cord that can be um, seen in broken pieces and used for start a fire or whatever stuff even the, the band can be used for eventually lighter sorry a piece of inner tube uh, again a very good way to start a fire burn for 5 minutes at least well, you probably, of course, stink as hell, but it'll be careful anyway. A tiny jar with a couple of cotton balls and petroleum jelly. Uh, that's the sticky torch part that I soak with the uh, high coal, so it can be used again for start the fire. Another firing device. What else we got here? Yes, some matches. I'm gonna replace this one with a waterproof one. And those are fine anyway, so I keep them in the plastic, they should be safe enough. Uh, a small piece of sanding paper eventually can be used more other stuff a tiny light LED light can be useful a compass, button compass and I paint the bottom of the tuna can I try actually with the Rastolium uh, high temperature paint and looks like it's working the only thing stinks as hell of course maybe need to be just once or twice. I'm gonna add a couple of more stuff. I'm thinking about some uh, multi tool blade, you know what I mean? The cutting blade, the Stanley one, probably. Just one of those, kind of with some duct tape on the bottom. Again, some probably some duct tape wrap it and put it inside there. It's an idea. I mean, still, I think it's pretty cool for the space. It can be keeping your backpack, even the one used for going to work and everything. And let me know. I'm gonna shout out a couple of people. Are you going to see the links on the bottom? I still don't know who, but there's plenty of them. I really want you to, to check the website, like Malhik, the tree, and Really Big Monkey, Gorilla Tavern, House of Fire 72, a really big mon, a really big monkey, a really big monkey. Yes, yes. Uh, well, there's a bunch of them. Let, let me, I gotta figure out, and you wanna see the link again over there. I hope that I'm not probably the Machiavelli or the survivalist, but. Uh, I got a couple of ideas maybe I want to show you in the future. I'm glad you spent your time watching this video and I hope you appreciate it and you're getting ready for the whatever stuff is going on. Okay? Thank you for your time, thank you everyone and take care and Godspeed.